So what's going on guys, my name is Mehul and let me give you a sneak preview of a feature which I have been working on CodeDamp, that is the CodeDamp Classrooms and technically I should not be telling you this really because it's not completely ready and it's not out yet but I just thought why the hell not. So here we are with CodeDamp Classrooms, this is something different which is not present on a lot of sites right now you can go ahead and start a classroom you can enroll in a classroom like this and what's going to happen is that you're gonna get a nice little interface just for you you have your own terminal you have your own browser window you have your own instructions and everything which are available to you for you to pass certain challenges using a particular technology which you have picked up now if you have noticed we just picked up react uh, we just picked up the Next.js simple block um, classroom. So in this classroom, we have to create a simple blog using Next.js on hands-on practice. So first things first, let me just go ahead and show you that this is actually a real Linux terminal. So you can, you know, just go ahead and make use of all those Linux commands. And I'm just going to go ahead and start the terminal again for the next server because that's what we need, right? Uh, this is the browser window which is directly connected to this Next.js terminal which is running. Then we have the file system in place which is again synced with the terminal. So you pretty much get a nice in-browser experience but with a Linux server running somewhere on the cloud which you do not really have to worry about. So anyway, for this challenge you can see that we just need to create a hello world that should return a page. So I don't think that's, um, you know, a lot of work. In Next.js, if you know Next.js, if you have watched the Next.js series videos, which I have been releasing, um, you'd know that you just have to create a hello world.js6 right here and just export default function hello world and then just return, you know, h1 hello world, something like that, right? And once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and run the test. Now when you run the test, I'm going to go ahead and take your code. Now obviously this is automatic, I don't really go ahead. But I just take your code and run it and test if what I have said, you have done that. If yes, you're going to get a nice little green to your challenge and you would be able to proceed to the next one, just like this. So yay! Now on the next challenge, you could pretty much just see that you have another job to do, right? So this time you have something else to do but again just so you know that basically you have the same file structure you have the same things which you have to do and uh, yep this is pretty much how the classrooms look and feel like so you can go ahead and try out maybe like a later down the line challenge because that would be you know having some more features and some more pages already ready with you so if I go to like pages Right here you can see that we have now post and app.tsx already available with us. So it sort of, you know, builds up with what you have already done so far. So if you take a look at the contents, you're going to see you have some of the contents. You can create new files, remove files, stuff like that. So it's still, you know, very early. It's not, you know, something I would say um, can receive all the traffic and all your love. But the few of you who have been seeing this video, Till now, go ahead, try this out. Maybe by the time you're trying this out, more classrooms have been added here because right now there's just this single one, but more classrooms would be added very soon on technologies like HTML, CSS, Node.js. Backend is one important thing which I want to cover with code, code damn classrooms. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the description what you think about this because I'm super excited with what I'm doing here with this classrooms technology. And uh, yeah, just let me know how do you want to use it and how this can be improved even more. You can use it with a free account, no need to buy the lead subscription. Yeah, just go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think about it. So that would be all for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.